This is all real football. Yeah, I remember coming out the locker room and just just feeling that atmosphere, like, like we this is this is it, like it's our it's our first like real challenge that we have coming up. The word got out that they called us cupcakes, so I mean that kind of set a fire in my heart. I really I took that to heart. Like I know my team is not a bunch of cupcakes. Like we we bring the punch. So I, every time I, I made a play, it's just like like we're not cupcakes. Like that week of practice, man. It was, it was nothing but just focus. Everybody was focused, everybody wanted it, everybody just wanted to win. And we know we had somebody that was coming down to, that was gonna try to like to beat us. So we had that in our mind that man, we can't lose on our home field in front of our crowd. Like that's something that's not right. We weren't favored to win that game because Valencia, they beat us um, year in, year out by a lot. It was ecstatic. I came out hyped, I knew we had a chance to beat them. After my first run, I took it for about 40 yards and it got me hyped for the rest of the game. I knew we weren't going to uh, fall short because I know my team, we, we don't give up. That's one thing we don't do, we don't give up and we, and we play hard throughout the whole game, all four quarters. Days later, Miles hit Newton for an 18-yard touchdown. Richard scored that first touchdown. I was like, all right, like, we got some momentum now. And we just kept pushing. We were going back and forth, back and forth. So I was pretty pumped to, to play that game. And After another Valencia field goal, Palmdale was on the move. hit a wide open Jordan Bowden for the touchdown. The Falcons' six point lead was short lived. Going into halftime, Telling my team, like, man, like, these, these guys ain't that good. Like, we could really just handle them. We could really beat them if we really put our mind to it. I think I told my team, like, man, we still in here. They don't want it as bad as we do. Like, you could just tell when a team just doesn't really want to play, not really into the game as much as the opposite team. And so when I recognized that, I put that in my head before I went to halves. So I'm like, man. struck back on this 34-yard catch-and-run touchdown by Christian Johnson.
just when they thought they were riding high, the Falcons came swooping down. Effie Davalos' 20-yard catch and run put Valencia up by eight. It was a, a halfback pass. My quarterback, Nathaniel Miles, uh, pitched me the ball. Uh, I had to fake it a little bit like I was going to take it. Um, pulled up, threw it down deep to my receiver and good friend, Napoleon Demison, number 25. Uh, he caught the ball. The crowd went crazy. And uh, we took the lead against Valencia. It was a great feeling. It was, it was pretty awesome. Once I saw it completed, I, I just knew he was going to the house. I knew it was a touchdown. It, it was a great feeling. Like I, I, can't, I can't explain it, really. And when. Jordan Bowden threw the touchdown to Napoleon Demison. That that really gave all of us, the whole team, just just heart um, and a lot of excitement. And the crowd actually helped us out too. Bowden's halfback pass to Napoleon Demison covered 76 yards on a touchdown. And when Miles went off the left side for the two-point conversion, the game was tied. Valencia's Justin Wofford's inadvertent touch of the ball gave Palmdale the first down at the Viking 33. Richard Newton's two-yard dive in the end zone gave Palmdale the lead. I remember getting that, that last fumble and everyone just went crazy. It was amazing, it was really amazing. I knew we needed a first down to secure the victory. And when the play was called, I got the handoff and I hit the hole and there was a defender and he tried to tackle me and I, I dipped and I broke the tackle and I knew I needed those extra yards so I knew I had, I knew I had to get off that tackle. And after, once I got it, I knew, I knew that um, my team needed it. We all needed it, I needed it. It, that, that play really set the tone for me and for me for the rest of the season, that I can do something, I can be a game changer. We lost to them my freshman year and I remember watching our varsity beat them and I, I remember thinking to myself like, wow, I, I want to be that varsity team that beats them. Just to beat them was amazing. I, I remember crying after that game because I had been waiting so long to do that. 
that's the best game hands down I ever played in. Even though we had some ups and downs, it was the best game ever. We just fought to the end and, and what do you know, we beat Valencia, like one of the second teams to beat Valencia. And it was a great feeling. The atmosphere was great, like winning at home against a big team like that, man, it was a great feeling. Uh, it was my, the best day of my life. Uh, that was the first time that I beat Valencia uh, personally. Uh, I know it was the first time a lot of guys on our team beat Valencia. Uh, we were the second team to beat them, and I, I just felt honored to beat them, you know? It was, it was a great feeling. Finally, we, we did it. Like, we, it's been four years since, since we got blown out by them, and I've just been waiting to get that sweet revenge. All I could think to myself was we beat Valencia.